pressure powered pillow that'll blow away your friends. The crazy, creepy sounds of ice cubes cracking up. A raincoat rope trick, wacky magic, or weird mathematics. And why do these apples come close enough to kiss? Ah, oh, it must be love. I've got a feeling it must be science, Dana. We'll find out in just a minute. But first, Zach has an idea in the wind. I'd better get started on my much too late art homework. <laughs> Darn, pesky wind. Here's a better spot. <laughs> Gone again. Right, this obviously isn't the best place. What about pot plant balcony, corner balcony, rooftop, rainforest corner? I think I need to make a wind map. First, a quick sketch map of the house. No problem to a Leonardo da Vinci like me. Here's the rooftop, corner balcony, pot plant balcony, Rainforest corner. Now to find out which way the wind blows. <laughs> Emily and I have been trick or treating. Our great costume sure scared a few people. I wonder what else we can do for Halloween. I know, we could bob for apples. Right. We'll need apples, scissors and some string. Here we go. Let's snip this string so we can hang the apples from the clothesline. About this long will be great. Now tie the string to the apple stems like this. There, perfect. Then we tie them to the clothesline. That's it. Shall we start? Come here, you frustrating piece of fruit. Mum says an apple a day keeps the doctor away. I think it's the apples that are staying away. They keep avoiding us. These apples are distinctly unfriendly. I know. Time to change this game from apple bobbing to something that'll teach them how to become a whole lot more friendly. Watch this. I'll just blow between them and... Hey! That's way more than friendly. I'd call them kissing apples. Nice thought, Lyra. But the kissing is caused by something quite unromantic. As fast-moving air goes between the apples, it creates an area of low pressure. The higher pressure air on the outside of the apples then flows towards the low pressure area, pushing the apples closer together. But it's not entirely unromantic. Traditionally, the first person to successfully bob the apple was the next person in the village to get married. Oh! In that case, let's get these apples back away from each other. With any luck, they'll stay very unfriendly. But we might end up marrying one of those horrible neighbourhood boys. <laughs> oh, I guess I'll be the next to get married. I hope he's as clever as that. My quest to find the least windy part of the house is on. Here I am on my map. Dad told me that's north, so I'll mark it on my little compass here. Now, I'll use bubbles to show which way the wind's blowing. Aha! Uh -huh. It really is quite windy up here. Good. Big arrow marking the direction the wind's coming from. Next, the corner balcony. Not quite as windy. There's still a bit of a breeze. And it's coming from about that angle. This wind map is getting more interesting by the minute. Tanner and I have been out riding the dog sled across the ice all morning. We have lots of exciting adventures together out there. Whoa! What's that noise? Tanner, can you hear that loud cracking sound? It sounds like it's coming from deep in the ice. I hope 
hope the ice isn't breaking up. Come on, dogs, let's get home as quick as we can. We sure don't want to get our sled stuck in an ice crack. Phew! We're home safe and sound. I'm gonna figure out why the ice makes that cracking noise. Let's go, Tanner. We've got an experiment to do. I've got some very cold ice cubes out of the freezer. Let's take one each and drop it in a glass. Now we'll pour some of this warm water over them. This will start them melting. There you go, Tanner. Now we listen. Wow! It's cracking like crazy. Whoa, did you hear that pop? It makes lots of noises it's melting. That ice cube is pretty stressed right now, Logan. Warm water is making the ice on the outside of the cube expand before it melts. But the middle of the cube is still cold. That's creating forces along what's called a stress line. When the stresses are too much, the ice breaks with a big loud crack. There's only one solution. Relieve that stress right now. <laughs> There's another big noise. Whoa, that burp was loud enough to cause an avalanche. <laughs> well, I hope it didn't wake Damon, because Nicole has a sneaky surprise in store for him. Sleepy Damon is dreaming of becoming a cowboy. Time to turn this cowboy into a rodeo clown. With the old tied shoelaces trick. I'll use my special super tangle knot. Oh, <laughs> caught in the act. <laughs> These rope laces have given me an idea. I've dressed Cowboy Damon in a plastic raincoat. Button's done up. I put a loop of rope over his right hand. Hand goes in the pocket. Now I'm going to make this rope loop fall right off Damon without him taking his hand out of his pocket. Here goes. This end goes up the sleeve like this. And over Damon's head at the top. Then back down the inside of the other sleeve. Pull the rope all the way through. Now check this out. I gently take up the slack and undo the buttons on the raincoat. And hey presto! The rope drops right off. Cool, huh? It's magic! Not magic, but maths. Topology to be exact. It's the mathematical study of twisting and stretching shapes to solve a problem. Like passing Damon through a rope circle. Topology is maths in motion. Let's give the shoelace gag one more try. Hey Damon, I have another rope trick for you. Come outside. <laughs> Got you that time, cowboy. I don't know why I invite Beck and Jade to my parties. It's all silly games and blowing bubbles with those two. It's time they saw a real party trick. Check this out. Feel how heavy my big brother's encyclopedia is. Pretty heavy, eh? Well, I can lift this heavy book right off the table using the power of my breath. <laughs> What's so funny? I'm serious. Just you wait and see. <laughs> right, I'll show those two giggling girlies. I'll just need this sealable plastic bag. I'll poke a hole in it with a pencil. Careful not to go through the other side. Now I slide a drinking straw through the hole and tape it in place, making sure I seal around the straw. Now press the top of the bag closed and we're ready for action. A breath operated power pillow. Hey girls, stop dancing for a minute and watch this. I 
bet they feel pretty silly right about now. And they thought I was joking. Jordan's party trick is actually air pressure in action. When air is blown into the bag, it's squashed or compressed. While Jordan keeps blowing, the pressure inside the bag continues to build, pushing the sides out. By slowly compressing air, Jordan can create a force far stronger than he could ever create by simply blowing. Now for my next party trick, the bursting bag. Nice one, Jordan. It's amazing what you can do with the power of breath. <laughs> Let's go see if Zach found a place out of the wind to do his homework. The next port of call on my wind mapping journey is the pop lamp company. It's on the street, so this should be interesting. Mm. The wind seems to be taking the bubbles away from the house. And it's sort of sheltered. So I'll mark this spot with a shorter arrow pointing outwards. Now last of all is Rainforest Corner. Bubble time. Whoa, they're really floating slowly. This is by far the calmest place. The air is drifting from there to there, but only very slowly. So this gets the shortest arrow of all. So here's the best spot for this artist in residence. When the wind hits a solid object like a house, it can't go through it, so it has to travel over it and around it. On the sheltered side of the house, the air moves much more slowly. This is called the lee side. With today's wind direction, Zach's rainforest corner is on the lee side of his house, which is why it's so calm there. So here's the perfect spot for my art homework. Dinner's ready. Dinner time? Oh well, at least I have my map to show me where to come back to. Hope the wind direction doesn't change. That's Zach. Any excuse not to start his homework? Well, we have no excuse not to go and do ours. We've come to the end of another show. See, See you next time. time.